Hey guys, welcome to today. Today is Saturday and we are at the Pasofino farm. It is Sophie's last day. Shows me. Yeah, and Ellie is here. Let's be real. It's all about the Ellie. 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 <laughs> She's Two just, dogs love me more right now because she loves me and Molly loves me. Yeah, it's true. Ellie loves Sam and he love, she loves Sophie. And Molly has been spending so much time outside with Sophie lately that... And she's been spotting bunnies. Yeah, she found bunnies. She found a snake. But anyway, Wait, Sophie and Molly have been bonding and Sophie and Ellie have been bonding. We're here for Sophie's riding lesson and then we're going to go someplace super fun and I'll explain in a little bit. Ellie met a puppy, and now she's looking for it, looking for, her. I think it's a her. So I love it. I love her getting to be socialized. I noticed that she's like a little bit nervous. She's just not acting nervous now, but she comes to me and wants to be picked up or she'll sit on my lap and interact with the puppy. Actually, it's not a puppy. I think it's a year old now. I just want her to have a friend because nobody likes her. She's like Gracie, no dogs like her. This is a nice dog, huh? If I squat down, aw, see what a good girl. She's being submissive, finally. <laughs> She's like, I need a friend. Not a single issue. She's smelling the fake flowers. <laughs> if I squat down, she does hide underneath me. So I have to stand up. Aww. Say hi. Come on and play, she says. Oh, gentle. <laughs> gentle. <laughs> Be gentle. Aww, look at my baby. <laughs> I don't think people fully understand. Hey, I don't think people fully understand how much I love this dog and how much of a baby she is to me. Come here, Ellie. I've been holding on, I wouldn't let you go. Cause every time I try, you find a loophole. I've been slamming the door and just leave you go. When I come back, you feed it up the south. for socializing my puppy. Thank you. Do you guys know who the worst dog with other dogs is? Like the worst one, the one that we've socialized the most when she was a puppy? Molly had her best friend and they played together and they did a lot together, but she's the worst one. She's literally the worst one with other dogs. I'm so happy to see that Ellie actually is making friends. She's calmed down because none of our dogs like her. <laughs> they put up with her. And they used to like, Daisy used to play with her and play with her and now nobody will go near her. Who plays with Ellie now, Sam? Who's her best friend? <laughs> she brings them toys. She goes to bed with me at night and she falls asleep. She waits until I fall asleep. The minute I'm asleep, she jumps off the bed, runs downstairs and plays with Sam every night and then he puts her to bed at night. I've never had a dog like that before. I'm really glad to see she's getting more horse savvy though. She's definitely got a healthy fear of the horses and watches them and makes sure she stays away from them. For the most part, I did see her run for Chino's tail one day, <laughs> but I saved her. Sophie's gone out on the trail with three other girls her age. She loves riding here. She loves the girls here, but she loves being around people and, and this is like such a good social situation for her so even though like we're trying to get stuff done like we're trying to finish fixing up her farm and get it ready for summer and we're trying to get her going western and we're trying to like manage shows and the grandkids and all that stuff and it and trail rides especially trail rides that's what I want to do this summer even though we're super busy she still wants to ride here so it's hard to like take something away from her that's such a good experience and if anybody's curious about what's happening at home well there's Penny there's Penny, you can see her, her white shoulders and neck, but what you can't see, 
is the horse standing beside her. Wait, is there a horse standing beside her? I'm sure of it. There's Chino blocking her. Can you guys see? There's one, two, four front legs there. See, she's moving. And then there's the other horse. That's where you know where Chino is. He's all, and then he'll step up. He doesn't let her even breathe. And then there's Willow. And Storm's in there somewhere too. I just saw Storm gallop from down behind the barn. And there he is there, he's drinking water. So I watch them 24 seven. When I'm editing at night, I open this app because I can hear everything that the horses are saying, like all the noises and stuff. And I watch everything. Like I edit and every time I hear a sound, I look at the camera. And Honey and Gracie are behind the barn. It's just so weird for, to see them all separated like that and still keeping Storm from, there's Willow walking. It's funny to see them still keeping Storm away from them, like treating him like he's an outsider. But Willow's going to eat. <laughs> we are at the tax store because we are gonna shop Western style. Yeah, I need my phone. And we brought Ellie because they allow dogs. We want to like really look around because we don't know. Let's see what they have. Wow, you got a lot of new stuff. We do? Yeah. <laughs> you have like really cute fly masks now. Yeah. Professor's Choice did a really cute job on a bunch of new, new styles. Yeah, because they have colors. That's and nice. And oh, it is so cute. On the website, there was a new. There's a different kind of fly spray. A different kind of fly spray? Yeah. Chicken? Uh, marigold horse spray. We have one horse that does not like flies at all. This is the stuff I saw. Buckshot Creek Bug Oil. Now that one I love. You do like it? I love it. Why? So, um, it's all naturals. All natural oils. Um, a local girl makes it. And I... I've had the same bottle for, this is my third spring, and I put it on a cloth, and I rub it inside their ears, I rub it on their chest where they get all chewed up. I'm not using it. Why aren't you using this? Because I don't like the oil stuff. This is not oil, look at you guys. Okay, so this is a big conundrum, conundrum. So this is the stuff that we have. It's $70, $65, and it's an oil, and you get it everywhere, even though it works good. But they, everybody says that this stuff works so good. And it's a cream you rub on. So basically the same kind of thing, but I'm gonna get it and we're gonna try it. I don't care, it's $30 or $21, but um, I think it's worth it to get something that works because you wanna get that stuff too? Yes. Usually I buy this one, which is $100 because Move that thing it's, for a it's like three of these bottles. Is this bug spray too? Yeah, it doesn't work, it's less. And then the Bronco, I find works less well than this. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't work good. And if I, I would just want Storm to not have to throw his head all the time. It's between this and this, and this is an oil, but apparently this is amazing. I'm trying this. Here, take this, I'm holding your dog. Okay, I'm obsessed yeah. with these. These are gonna be our fly masks for the year. Or they have these ones. What the heck, that is adorable. And it's purple. That one's way nicer. Okay, now that's a cool picture. It's like 3D. It's really nice. So these are the Western Pleasure shirts that Sophie would have to wear. I like this one. $450. $450! So this is cool. It's a Shimmin' Ball Western pad, which I like. So it's got the shims in it. And it's like the same price as my half, my saddle pad was. No, it's a little bit less, but it's nice. I think that we're gonna end up having to get Storm a new saddle pad too. All right, so Sophie, I don't know where Sophie went. She disappeared. She said she was going downstairs and then I came downstairs. Look at this. But you know what I really, 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 really want? I want an inky dinky saddle. It's I want three dollars. I want an inky dinky saddle. This is three dollars. Yeah, you need a new one. Because mine's all destroyed. I don't like the ones like this, though. I like the ones that have, like, the bigger part of that. Yeah, but, like... Can I say your dog down? Yeah, go ahead. Dogs are not pulling my shirt down. Dogs are allowed in here. So, we're not ready to get a storm a saddle yet because he has to build up again. Like, he needs to build his muscle again. 
Ooh, that's what it sounds like. But I want to get an idea of what Sophie likes. I got something for Chino to chew. It's a chewy thing for Chino. Hold on. Where'd you go? I thought you were going downstairs. It's that. And the horse chews it. Oh, that's neat. He wants a dark saddle. I like it too. I definitely like it. You want to try it? Oh, look at that though. See, I want a saddle with a matching one of these. I also like this kind of a saddle. When it's time for Sophie to get her saddle, um, I'll have somebody else. I'll have somebody fit it. Probably the lady that owns the store. I'll probably get her to fit it. Okay, so the kind of saddle pad. Is that it that? No. I had to order mine. They didn't even have it here. I had to order it. Did you see the shirts? <laughs> That's what Western Pleasure wears. Ew. I love these shimmable pads though. Anyway, there are a lot to choose from and when I'm ready, I'm gonna get her fitted and him fitted. But I like how this pad has wither relief. I wish my pad had wither relief. Do you like ones like that? Or ones with like color and a lot of tool? Like that's cute. All right. So they actually have equine cooling blankets. Is it just a uh, fly sheet or is it a cooling? It's cool core technology. It's actually a cooling blanket. And neck wraps, those are cool. That'll fit her. I love it. That'll fit her. I'm calling dad. Basically this store has everything you need now. I think that's with the breastplate. Wow, that that's, show them the bridle. This is a Western bridle. That's all you yeah, get. This is an earpiece. Just a little teeny tiny and only one earpiece. Cause it's a breath, it's a, Western bridal. That's weird. What'd you expect? Okay, so I like the ones with brow bands. So we needed to uh, come here to get fly spray for Storm, and I really wanted to take this opportunity to figure out saddle stuff. And basically what I learned is that I know nothing about Western stuff, so we're gonna have our trainer, her new, we're gonna have her trainer help her and figure it out. When the time comes to get a new saddle, we won't be doing it. Like, we never ever buy saddles on our own we always have somebody we always have somebody oversee it for us so it'll probably be the owner of this store is actually a saddle fitter and she's and she fits western saddles i wanted to just see what they had specifically and i also wanted to get an idea of what sophie wanted and i want to get an idea how all of it works like it takes me a long time of looking at stuff to figure things out like i do not understand a lot of stuff, especially in Western. We also came for our weekly uh, shavings load. We have to, we get shavings every week usually. I just want to show you guys, this is what I got. I got Swat Clear Formula, only because uh, so many people in our channel have recommended this. Apparently this is really strong and it kills flies when they try and land on it. Um, kills bugs and repels them. So the reason I got this is because I want it for Storm's head. So this is what it looks like. They had another color that was like bright orange, I think. This is like white. Pink. Oh, it was bright pink. So if we got this kind, because this is the kind we always use, I find that this works for like a few minutes, but once it dries, I don't, flies just go back on. Like I've never found good success with this. This is, a, this is good for like if you're at a show, which is what we use the most of it for. When you're at a show and you spray your horse's belly so that it's not like an stressed out while it's showing or you spray your horse's head or whatever but I find once it dries it doesn't work good so that's why I got that one because I want to try new things my kids don't like to try new things but I want to try new things and, and get something that works so we got a couple other things I'll let her show you guys later we didn't bring Gabby to the store because Saturdays are the day that Gabby gets to sleep in Monday to Friday she does school in the morning she does chores Gabby gets to sleep in it's like something that's super important to her so we let her she's a night owl she doesn't get to stay up late during the week very often and so on weekends she loves to stay up late and she loves to sleep late that's like what her body craves it's what she that's how she's made and so we let her oh so we let her sleep in on weekends and I asked her before we left do you want to come with us to the tech store you want us to come home after riding and pick you up and she said no she doesn't care so we just came so this is my old whip so I got a new one okay I'm gonna take this up to the house because I can fix this because the wick whip is perfect actually why don't we just take off this pink stuff no ew I can still fix that too I literally wish I could train the horses to poop only outside, but they come inside to poop. Figured out she has to bite it. I just gave the baby part of my apple core. I bring it for Penny every single day, and then somebody meets me at the door, and I end up giving it to them instead. Oh, hello. 
just who I wanted. Literally, since we brought the horses home, everybody's like all stressed out. Every single one of them is stressed out, except for Willow and Honey. Like, is this actually gonna go away? Because it's not getting better. Like, even Penny's on edge. And it's all because of you. And the problem is I don't see him making any mistakes, doing anything bad at all. You want me to get some bug spray? I got some new bug spray to try on you. It's just that having him here is making Chino territorial because he doesn't want Storm near his girls. He likes being the only boy. And so then all the girls are fighting back and it's getting like so stressful. This is so stressful. Tell me it's a transition, you guys. Tell me that it's gonna get better because if they're all about to be separated really, really soon if we don't figure this out. It's okay, don't worry, don't worry. Even Ellie doesn't like to go out there right now with Gracie. It's all Gracie. Okay, so Molly's been following Sophie all over the place, going outside with her, going outside with her constantly. So I told Gabby that her, her dog has abandoned her. And Gabby says that she only goes, she only goes to whoever has the biggest shadow. But look, she's already facing Sophie. Molly, Molly. Ellie, come here, Ellie. Right there. Ellie. She does like to chase shadows. shadows. Okay, so we're gonna do a little TikTok. On the count of three, you guys are gonna run your own way. Three. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. Ellie, three, two, one, go. She doesn't know. She's conflicted. <laughs> Allie. Okay. Oh my goodness, you traitor. She doesn't know what to do. Molly, come here. Come here, Molly. Molly, come on. <laughs> can we try with Allie? Yeah. I think it's Allie. I think she would have picked Allie. I, the only reason she went to Selfie that time was because Selfie called her. She's conflicted. I, okay. I called her though. Oh, did you? Well, I didn't say okay. All right, let's do it with Allie. Okay. Ready? Set. Go. <laughs> she wants me. I can't imagine one person taking care of all the horses. Like honestly, I can't. Takes our whole family to manage them. One person could do it all, but why should they when there's a whole family? So we all work together. But anyway, we're headed off to the grocery store and the last thing I was trying to say to you, what I was trying to say to you before was that today's Mother's Day for you. Right now while I'm filming, it's not Mother's Day. But while you're watching this, it will be Mother's Day. And uh, for Mother's Day, I told uh, my family that I want act of service. I want them to clean the barn, the section where Sam kind of took over. Uh, but what I didn't tell them was that I'm gonna ride my horse. Tomorrow is the day. Today, while you guys are watching, I'm gonna get Penny saddled up and I'm gonna ride her. I'm gonna probably ride her in the arena first, see how it goes. She hasn't been ridden all winter, so I'm excited though, you guys. Happy Mother's Day to all of you moms. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the